Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Burns Cradle. Happy New Year's Eve! I can't believe 2021 to me just didn't happen for some reason. It just went by so fast. <clears throat> um, excuse my voice. It's extremely cold here where I live. We have a wind chill warning of... I'm not even sure. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, I looked it up. With the wind chill, we are at minus 44 degrees Celsius or minus 47 Fahrenheit. So yes, it's extremely cold. And I'm in my nursery. And <laughs> still needs a bit of work. Um, however, this is non-reborn related, but I have to show you what I bought myself on Amazon with the Christmas money that I received and I can't believe it arrived here so quickly normally it takes forever <laughs> but so uh actually you know what it's just hair accessories I opened this one already it's that tool I used to have this tool when I was in my mm, late 20s when I had really long hair and I used it a lot this tool and I lent it to my back then sister-in-law and she never gave it back and maybe she thought I gave it to her but I just lent it to her but anyways I'm finally after all these years how many years let's see wow <laughs> over 30 years ago I gave her that wow that's a long time yeah, almost 30 years ago. Wow. Since the 90s. It was in the 90s. So yeah, I'm starting to cough. But it comes with all these other accessories that I've known about but I've never owned. But I did own these are those donut, spongy donuts for your bun. I do own, well it came with two. I do own a brown one and a black one already, so that I already own. Oh, and I do own one of these. I used to use this a lot. I love this thing. It's just at the end of the day, um, I had to reshape it. But I used to wear a bun like up here, and then the bottom I would leave down. I used to love doing that. So, I don't know, maybe I'll... Well, I still have this thing. It's in the bathroom. <laughs> this I've never known about. There's something special about this thing. I've known about these, but I used to just pull my own hair. But maybe this will make it more clean. These are volume hair base. Oh, to give you lift. Ooh, so I can look like Yana Troy again when I grow my hair longer. <laughs> um, I have no idea what this is. So I'll learn how to use that. Use this tool. And there's also these tool. Bring it, bring in hair tool. Can't wait to try them. I am growing my hair out long again. I used to have it super long and then I chopped it like to about here. And then I did it again. I chopped my hair to here again. But I think I want to grow it long. Uh, years ago, I used to donate my hair to Locks of Love. I started doing that in the early 90s because I grew my hair really long. And I went to a salon in the city and uh, they I, they took off like a lot of hair. And they asked me, would you like to donate your hair? And I'm like, donate my hair? They're like, yes, we use your hair for cancer patients. They make wigs out of human hair. So I'm like, yes, I'd like to donate. And ever since then, I've been donating my hair. And if I live, like when I'm up here in the north, I used to ask hairstylists if they donate hair and they do up here and then eventually when the internet became more popular I could just 
look up their address online and mail it to them myself directly. However, since my hair started turning gray, I do dye my hair. That's why it comes out looking rusty. Okay. Um, <laughs> but since it started turning gray on me, it becomes very coarse. The texture is a lot different than my young natural <laughs> thick hair. So, um, I'm not sure if they, I know back in the day they did not accept gray hair because the texture was like a lot more coarse. So, <laughs> and it's true. I remember pulling out my first gray hair and it was like fish wire. It was, I'm like, what? <laughs> but yeah, I'm used to it now. <laughs> But anyways, I don't donate my hair anymore. The last time I chopped my hair off, because sometimes I do it myself, I'm keeping it, and I'd love to root a doll with it. So I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'll just uh, use my own hair. Because um, I, do, I do have supplies to be born. I just need to try it. There's this kind of tool. There's a lot of different tools here, and there's another one of these. This one is longer, this one is shorter. I'm not, I've never heard of these. Oh, it's like a bun, it makes buns. So, and I have no idea what looks like a ponytail and some sort of twisty thing. When it comes with the little, oh, I didn't see this, elastic. So that's cool. Anyways, I will turn you around. My desk is messy. But you have to look at these three cuties sitting here who are looking at me. I'll show you. Oh, so there's my three cuties who are sitting up there. And look at my big guys. I love my. You know what my son said? when he saw that because um this is his original room and when he stayed here at christmas um i took out all the dolls and i rearranged the room so that he would be comfortable with a bed in here and like an air mattress and um i made it comfortable for him but i did keep this in the room and he's like oh where can i buy some of your merch mom <laughs> and i was so proud when he said that, I'm like, oh, you don't have to buy anything, but thank you. <laughs> so the thought was just so sweet. So here are my three. I just adore them. They're all bundled up for this weather. And here is my Moses basket. I have Julia in there. She needs to get warm. And Ponette is in there. She looks warm already. Let's see. I showed them in my last video and um i have there's a few more bottles on that shower caddy that i don't need anymore <clears throat> okay so i had to show you someone very special to me i can't believe she still smells like like whatever the artist put in here. This is Emily Faye. I don't want to cry. <laughs> but she is my very first reborn for this hobby. She was purchased in July or the end of June of 2015. And I opened her in July. Of 2015 and I do have that box opening on my on my channel <laughs> sorry the word just kind of <clears throat> so here is Emily Faye her eyes are a little wonky I know that she was purchased from eBay back in the day from a lady in the States and she said that because she was secondhand she said that she was originally made in the UK and but I totally forget who her artist is because um but she's so cute she is so sweet 
So this is Emily Fay. Emily Fay would have been the name of my first daughter. <laughs> so anyways, Emily is just a name that I've always loved and Fay is named after my grandmother. Now when I opened Emily here, she is so beautiful. <laughs> and her painting is actually done how our family is. She's got red splotches and kind of like a veining. What's, I forget the word. See that red kind of scratchiness? But she is like super, super, super hard. I never opened her. I don't think I ever want to. Oh, and she's made with a white body. She is three quarter arm, full legs. Oh, and her sculpt is, oh, her sculpt um, by Nines Donnell is the sculptor artist, and oh, I'll have to find it. I'll have to remember the Sophia. That's it. The Sophia by Nines, Nines Donnell, 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 Donnell. But she is from the UK anyway. She was made. Her hair is in really poor shape, extreme. But she also came to me with poor shape. So she was my very first purchased reborn baby doll, and I actually I do love her, but she's smaller. See, I only had sons, <laughs> and sons are born, in my experience, a lot bigger and taller than little baby girls, because I had friends who had little baby girls, and they're so tiny, like this, but my sons were never this tiny. If they were this tiny, and they were this tiny, it only lasts for like four days, and they start growing like a weed. So, and she still smells. I can't believe it. Oh, I love it. But I do put a wonder wafer in there. But she was not my first dream baby kit. I had my eye on a Noah sculpt by Reva Schick by the same eBay seller. And it was a bid. And I lost. And I inboxed the seller. Because I always tell um people in the comments and like if i'm talking to them if you want to buy from ebay talk to the seller and get to know what kind of person they are if they're genuine or if like if they're real <laughs> if, like you know because there's so many scams even back in 2015 there were scams not as many but there were so i always like before i got into the reborn hobby i did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and asked a few questions. I befriended a very good friend of mine. Um, we're still friends. and But this is my very first purchased Reborn doll. And I was, um, oh, see, I get off topic. <laughs> I wanted the Noah. And so bad that she was selling. I lost the bid. And she said, well, hey, I have another doll that you might be interested in. And she showed me her. And I really, really loved her. I fell in love with her. But the U.S. conversion rate to Canadian and the shipping fees, the custom fees, it was a lot of money. <clears throat> so I just set her down and took back. And <laughs> that's when I started thinking, no more USA. <laughs> I can't afford it. I'm going to stick to Canada. So I found many artists in Canada. And, and my friend became an artist in Canada. So that was so cool. Um, I was scammed a few times. That's the sad part uh but 
overall my experiences with buying and selling has been really positive and my rule is to always chat with the seller first never commit I did that once I found a really good deal a good deal yeah. <laughs> if it's too good to be true it usually is um, so yeah years later fast forward like five six years six years into the hobby and I finally found my dream kit of the Noah and I would love to change him today because he looks so cold yeah I finally got my Noah I was so happy and thank you to Miriam she actually inboxed me to ask if I would like to purchase and he has painted hair but I think he's perfect he just fits in perfectly and he looks he's exactly all these years like this chippiness he is a true boy a true boy if he was a girl he would not be a newborn this is a newborn boy if it was a girl I might say like a month a month and a half maybe three months uh, but I love him and I'm so thankful for the opportunity <sighs> And he's waited like so perfectly. Um, so yeah, I love this hobby so much. I enjoy it. I own a lot of dolls, you guys. My collection is extremely giant and people ask me, where do I keep them? I have a lot of dolls in the bedroom. Actually, um, I've been telling people I have video of it, which I do. And I found out it's in my vlogmas. Uh playlist like because I do a walk around the house I think well I know for sure the bedroom and the living room and I do show like where I keep the dolls but I even have an episode an episode I even have a video of my of my basement storage room where I do keep the rest of the dolls that are not up here I have a few on display let's see even in this room I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen babies, and it doesn't even look like it. Like you can count like five, six. Well, if you would actually go around the room, you could count them because there's two in a basket over there. There's um. Uh, bouncer sheet here is a basket there. There's a Moses basket there, a Moses basket there, a basket underneath there, and three on display sitting up. So, oh, and one here in my arms. But I have a lot more in the bedroom too. I think there's like 22, but it, for some reason, at glance, it doesn't seem like it. But yeah there are and in the bed in the living room i talked about this before there's so many in the living room but they're tucked away in baskets and they're not on display i just cover them with a blanket to keep the dust off so <clears throat> wow am i rambling 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 see i always ramble and thank you the comments who who say to me that you don't mind my rambling <laughs> so thank you for that um my day today is pretty quiet. I'm here. I need to reorganize a few things. I have, where did I put them? I have these curtain lights to hang down. Oh, it's going to be so pretty in here and so relaxing. <sighs> this hobby is so calming. I love it literally this hobby has saved my life like literally i in the past i had a lot of mental health issues and um they were quite severe and but this hobby is so like i just look at them and my blood pressure goes down i can feel it i can feel the calmness it was so cute they're so adorable. They're so cute. Um, I do have two dolls in my collection that 
I've never really interacted with in a long, long time because one has a sad face. And as much as I think she's so cute, she is. She's really cute. But she's so sad. She looks like she's going to break out and cry. And I don't know, just being around her actually um, made me feel like pouty face. So, and then I have another doll. Who has like a grumpy crying uh not um like it's like i do only azalea by laurely eagles i'm not talking about her not that kind of because not a grumpy but another sad one but scrunched up face too but sad and i can't really bond with those kind i still love my mergina though this the Azalea sculpt. I named her Medina Amethyst. And so I love her a lot. She's just kind of grumpy, that's all. She's not sad, sad. Oh, you can't see. Did I tell you what he named him? This is Julius. Julius Bennett. And he's named after the movie Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. I love that movie. So, this is Julius, and I think he looks like a Julius. He's so cute. So, but anyways, guys, I guess I'll upload you now. I would love, I have many projects DIYs in mind. Um, I have, I, I don't have a real sewing machine, but I have a handheld sewing machine. So, or a sewing tool, I guess, an electric one. So, I've been... <laughs> I've been trying out some DIY coasters for Christmas, like just a simple square cloth coaster and inside is like um, felt. So I've been playing around with those and I would really love to try some bonnets and diapers. That's my next plan because I do have, okay, wait, I'll be right back. I'll show you. Okay. I did receive this. In Happy Mail or Trading from Erin. I know that I got it from Erin. And it's it's homemade, but it's awesome. I don't know who made it or where she got it from. But it's all felt. And I'm pretty sure that I can, like, trace it out. And I do own strips like this and I do own some felt oh <laughs> I, but I mean this could be a simple project I am excited and it feels like there's only like two pieces of felt so there's an outside felt the inside felt sewn together with velcro sewn velcro on it and i'm pretty sure that i can make these now using this tracing pattern i can make them smaller so i would love to make my own mini clothes as well so I'm using this as a guide and the bonnets will be easy because I have so many bonnets and some bonnets are actually just like a long and then they're just tied up and bundled. It's all that it is. So, but I'm excited to try. Oh, and there's also, um, on the YouTube, there's tutorials on making different kind of baby hats too so i'm really excited to try out those projects and uh if they're successful i would love to share them see most of the things i do um like i have so many tutorials <laughs> i always see if it works first and then i share a video with you guys although no one time i actually tried a diy and it failed and i did record it <laughs> it said i tried to do i tried to um, make a cloth diaper out of a receiving blanket it just did not work so i did upload that <laughs> oh i wanted to show something i'll be right back i get many comments when i showed my bottle collection and showed like 
like this one for instance it just has plain lotion and water in it now plain lotion and water for me it never goes bad or clouds up or even thickens ever if i uh, start adding food coloring or vanilla extract it will cloud up and separate over time and it'll look ugly and then i had a few comments from many people suggesting um fabric softener and i do have videos in my in my youtube of tons of videos of using like fabric softener uh, the thing is where i live in northern canada it's extremely expensive extremely expensive it's really a lot cheaper for me to just buy lotion and now water um i heard that some people like to use flour and water or baby powder and water but to me um it molds up very quickly so it could be the environment where i live in but this is fabric softener see i love my cookie monster bottle but this is fabric softener and i did buy like the best fabric softener is that yellow one the i forget the vanilla the vanilla one sun sun something that's almost impossible to get where i live <laughs> um but this one is pure white besides for the older babies i like the pure white milk but for the newborns i like the formula look i don't know with my real sons i had like you start off with good start and see i didn't use i had to use formula so um um the good start beginner is like the brownish formula color but as they got older like around six months and older uh five or even four months no four months six months i had them on the sippy cup <laughs> so but near the end their milk was always like this color like if i had a full eight ounce bottle they would have the pure like it looked white maybe a little off white but this is fabric softener and look it totally gummed up now this one I just have I didn't steal it I just kept this on it so it won't leak but sometimes I do like having the bottles I love bottles I love the fake milk I love it but sometimes I do like I don't know why I love the sound <laughs> but this one I love when the, you can see the milk go in so but this one I didn't I didn't have time to steal it and I had no more nannies no holes so I just kept the stopper but look this is I just started coughing this is ah. this is what happens where I live fabric softener so you can see that Ew, it's like foamy. <laughs> yes, I'm totally doing this. Actually, you know what it feels like? It feels like, um... Like thick icing. There's no lumps in it. But yeah, see? It just, it turns into a cream. And you know, you know what? I did not throw this stuff out. I actually use it in my laundry. Like, because I've done this before. I opened up like an old, um, an old fabric softener bottle. <laughs> and instead of throwing it in the garbage, I threw it in my laundry. It just melts in the water. I mean, I love playing with this stuff anyway, so, like, I'm almost tempted to add water just to see if I can make it go. <laughs> I'm just playing with it with that. 
But yeah, this is what happens to us where I live. Over time, it hardens up. Even in the summer, just because it's winter. I know it's cold, but that's what happens in this environment. So anyways, I have to wash my hands. And I hope that you guys are having a great, safe, and healthy New Year's Eve. I would love to come back and do a changing video with Julius. Because he looks cold. He's only in his onesie. So, <laughs> I would love to do that. And thank you guys so much for being here and being a part of my channel. I appreciate you all. And I want to say match hands. This is the hand I normally use, but I don't think you want to match hands. But you can on this one. Bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And have a great, relaxing day. I love you guys all. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, bye, guys.